welcome to um, our third or fourth Wine and Design Wednesday. Today we are here at the Cary Studio in North Carolina and we are here with Miss Annalisa. Hi! Hi. Um, today we're going to be talking about our Art Buzz Kid division. Um, it is obviously our all about our kids. Um, you know, we created this division because kids make up a lot of our customer base and Art is not limited to just adults. So, it's not. So yeah, so we created that division. Um, just a little background of our Art Bus Kids division. We have daily classes that mm -hmm. you can take. We have Mommy and Me classes that are so really much fun. and really cute. Um, basically what Mommy and Me is, it's two paintings that come together. Um, your child paints one and then the mommy or daddy can paint one too. So those are Mommy and Daddy classes. Um, right now, since it's the middle of summer, we do have some summer camps going on. Really fun. Annalisa is the queen of creating some summer lesson plans. Um, we are actually um, the studio. The we are in the studio now, and there's actually an Art Buzz Kids camp going on right now. You can't hear them, but they're there. They are there. <laughs> they're there. We're gonna hang out with them in just a moment. Um, we you're piloting our new camps for yes. next year. So we're already thinking about 2018, which is exciting. I love thinking. A year ahead yeah. with Art Buzz, so you'll notice that the theme that we're doing this week is a little different than some of the ones offered at your local studio, which we yes. will talk about in a second. So all the stuff that you see behind this is just an example of what kids are going to get to do at Art Buzz Kids Camp across the country in 2018. Yes, so going back to 2017 present, um, the camps that we offer across all of our studios are right here. We have the Wizard Academy, we have Under the Big Top theme, Party in the USA, Night in the Museum, and then Happily Ever After. Depending on your location, these themes vary um, in like order. So some of them will have um, Under the Big Top first, and then, you know, Wizard Academy last or something. So just check your local studio at winedesign.com forward slash locations um, just to see what kind of camps that they have going on, but they will be these themes. And they're super fun. All the lesson plans. Totally kid approved. Definitely kid approved. Freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these camps consist of week-long camps. Um, some of them offer one-day camp, so you can come during the day um, for one of the events. And your kids come home with beautiful art and awesome crafts that they can take home and cherish forever. And annalisa has been doing this for how long? Four years, full time. Our Buzz Kids yeah. director. Yes. So I have done this. I actually tallied it up last night uh, after camp. This is my 48th week of camp that I've taught. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> tell us a little bit about your background sure. because you are so passionate about Art Buzz Kids Division, <laughs> and you're kind of like the head of Art Buzz Kids Division for the Carrie Studio. So yeah. tell us about your background and. How you got started with this okay so I originally I went to school for art I majored in studio arts or painting sculpture photography everything but I have always loved kids and I actually put myself through college by working at an early childhood education center so I was working with kids of all ages and kind of gradually became their specials director so I taught art to kids from two to five on Fridays for like 30 minutes at a time so that was a little crazy and yeah. I came in to wine and design with this huge passion for art and for painting and this huge passion for kids mm -hmm. but wanting to teach more than like a 30 minute craft in a preschool setting that had to go up between these borders. Mm -hmm. So I found this and it kind of combined my love of painting with my love of teaching especially with kids which is why art buzz is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I absolutely love it because it gives me a chance to work with kids individually and in giant groups like we have this week and really teach them incredible projects. So it combines my passion, so it's really exciting. Yeah. yeah, and I can say that we're all fortunate to have Annalisa here, not with just the Carrie Studio, but with the corporate team as well. You know, we definitely um, value her opinion when it comes to what we do with our Art Buzz Kids. So, so yeah, so we have some really dedicated artists here that um, love our Art Buzz Kids division and are really passionate about what we do um, in terms of art and children. So, so yeah, it's really great that we have you. Mm -hmm. um, so like I said, we're here in the studio during a camp, so we are gonna join them. Yes. Um, but before we get started, we have these amazing coloring oh, books. Yes. Super fun. So fun. I'm gonna flip through it. Um, when you flip through it, it is actually our Art Bus Kids themed paintings here, and then you have um, the coloring sheet next to it. So these are super fun. Some of your studios are selling these, but today we're gonna give away some of these coloring books. Yay! Woo! They're so Lucky fun. Winners. I know, yes. lucky winners. Ah! So um, 
there should be a link above. Fill out that form and then be entered. We'll be telling, um, we'll be picking the winners next Wednesday and you'll be getting an email if you want. So they're super fun, they're great gifts. You can also keep it for yourself, um, which is great. Coloring oh. is so <laughs> therapeutic, it's amazing. We, we also have um, an adult version, but yes. because we're talking about our Artbus Kids division, we're giving away our Artbus Kids um, coloring books. So You know your kid wants it. You know you, you yeah. know they want it, so. We love it. We have kids this camp are saving up their money by these. They love it so much, yeah. 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 yeah, so you do have somebody who actually is saving. Yes, for yes, I have one of my kids is legitimately saw the book and was like, well, I want that, and uh, he's bringing in money on Friday for his piggy oh, bank, which is precious. That is the sweetest. Maybe yes, we'll win they win. recognize the paintings from the wall, and then they see the coloring page, and we do have a couple out in the morning for them to color, so yes. they've been obsessed. I actually think that might be what they're working on right now yeah. as we get ready to go in there. So tell us about what we're going to be doing okay. before we get in there. Yes, so... Art Buzz does, we do focus on paintings of all different kinds. You'll see a lot of our work here, but on Wednesdays, and this is so much fun because it's very different than what kids get to do in an academic setting or even in an art class setting. Wednesdays here in the Carey studio are messy art days. And what that is, is it basically takes all of those kind of limitations that we put on ourselves, like don't splatter paint, don't drip paint, strip drops in our adult classes, mm -hmm. catastrophic mentally, like horrible <laughs> disaster, splatters are something that you typically try not to do, and I take all of those ideas and I just kind of say today is a day that it's okay to get messy, and the project we did this morning included a lot of dripping and splattering, and we actually blue on paint straws, yeah. which is something you never do, right? Like rolling into <laughs> chocolate milk bubbles. Yeah. But this afternoon, we're actually going to use shaving cream to make prints, um, swirled marbled prints yes. using shaving cream. And the reason I love that is it does get a little messy, but the mess is soap. So, so it's already clean. Yes. And then in the end, I just give the kids the sponges and they love cleaning the tables. So <laughs> it ends up being really, really fun. I've taught it twice this summer in different themes and it's it's been spectacular. They awesome. about it. <laughs> and I will say, you know, even this is, even though this is considered like a kid's activity, marble Do is it. all the rage right now. Do, Do it. it at home. Yes. Um, so while we're doing this, definitely, you know, jot down the materials, what you need, and do it at home with your kid. And if you do it with your with your kid, let us know. We'd love to see it. Tag us. I would love to see it. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, and also, you know, saying marble is such a thing right now. It's, I mean, I love marble things, so I'm really excited to do this and to hang it in my house. So, yes. it's even though it's like a kid's thing, it's definitely be something for me personally. It's crazy so, therapeutic. I yeah. tested it at home and was like, I love it. Yes. <laughs> well, before we get in there, I kind of want to just give some shout out to the these uh, paintings that are were created by children. I'm really drawn to this one, and I think it's just because of the glitter, but these are beautiful paintings, and these amazing. are amazing pieces that your children can create, too, when they do come to our Art Bus Kids Camp, so. And the question we actually do get a lot is, I and I get this question all the time, do we paint on the kids' canvas unless it's a catastrophic drip, like we were talking about earlier, or something that is, like, horrifying to them, which with kids, they're few and far between. These are all done by kids just with that instruction. They only have the typical wine and design art buzz outline of the wave and then the horizon line and actually here just the, the jelly head. So they are starting with those basics and then they're just taught the instructions. So it's kind of fun to see the direction that kids take it I know. without any of my involvement really except yeah. for this is what you could do with this color. Yeah, and it's not afraid to be creative. Yeah, and that's what I love about children too. Like they I feel like they're more you, you can definitely tell a difference when you you look at a kid's class and then yes. you look at an adult class. They're more carefree, whereas I feel like, you know, as you get older, you're more a little analytical of what you're doing. So it's really amazing to see these kids during these camps because they're, they're having such a great time and um, art is so underfunded and just education in general. So it's nice to see them have an outlet here at Wine and Sign. So I truly... I love this division too. I think a yeah. lot of our studio owners have a soft spot for this division. So it's incredible. So, and yeah. It's nice. We give them the opportunity and the tools and the techniques to really succeed in art in a way that they might not necessarily get to experience everywhere else. And a chance to be fearlessly creative, which is great. So mm -hmm. very exciting. Very exciting. All right. So I think we've talked a lot about our yes. Art Risk is division, birthday parties, private parties. Mom and pop, or mom and mommy and me classes, our camps, um, holiday camps as well. So fun, super fun. Love those. Um, oh my gosh! Yeah. So if you want to check out these themes, you can go to your local studio and then you can see which themes that they have um, on their calendar now. All of them are really fun. I will say our popular one right now is the Wizard Academy P 
people love these. If you're a huge fan of Harry Potter, I think this will be kind of your thing too. So literally sold out six weeks before we even offered it. So Harry, yeah, awesome. Wizard theme. Academy is, is personally my favorite Mine one too. too. And you get this really cool certificate afterwards. So check them out. I'm gonna just say it one more time. Wizard Academy, Under the Big Top, Party in the USA. Night in the Museum, and Happily Ever After. So check those out at your local studio at winesign.com forward slash locations. All right, are you ready yes. to get this project Let's started? Do it. All right, okay, we're gonna walk into this class. Let's do it. We're coming. <laughs> we're coming. Hey guys. Everyone wave, hey, say hi Facebook world. Hi. <laughs> All right guys, so we got our lovely friends. They are going to be watching us, so best mm. smile. <laughs> we are representing Art Buzz to the entire Facebook world and the entire company right now. Remember I told you guys are so amazing that I wanted to boast on you? This is how we're boasting on you, so just wave. So we're actually going to demo the project that we're about to do. Yes, aren't they wonderful? You yeah. can just tell that genius is happening <laughs> right here. Am I demoing right here? I'll demo right up here. <laughs> All right, guys. So this project, yeah, just wave, you know, as it goes by. Don't Shady. worry. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so everyone that was out here, not on the camera, just wave by. So we are going to be doing shading cream marbling prints. And because it's messy art day, this does get a little messy because shading cream. And guess what, guys? It's soap. So I'm going to demo this for you guys, and then our lovely assistants are going to come around and start handing you the supplies. But right now, I just want your focus right up here so you can see exactly what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna walk around and show you because I know some of you guys are so far away from me, I miss you. But it's okay, I'll show you guys. So you've got your four pieces of paper, check. You've got your um, beautiful square styrofoam, check. Yes. All right, you've got a popsicle stick. Yes, right now this looks like a whole lot of nothing, but just hang in tight, friends. So you're going to get shaving cream in a moment, but watch this first. So I'm gonna take shaving cream. I'm just trying to fill in the bottom of the tray. Look at that. Now if you touch this and mess with it, it's not gonna work as well. So once you get shaving cream in a little bit, don't really touch it. I just did, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. So the next thing that you're gonna do is we have beautiful, heads up, super fun secret, coffee trays, yes. Favorite thing. <laughs> um, so you're gonna get a tray to share with your friends of beautiful ocean colors because find the sea. You're going to take this. Remember that splattering we were talking about this morning? How we're not flinging it, we're tapping it. So you're going to take any of the colors, make sure the paintbrushes stay in their color. I'm gonna start with teal because you guys know it makes me really, really happy. And on top of my shaving cream, I'm just gonna tap. And I want a lot of paint. I really do, I want a lot of paint. Now I'm not painting on my shaving cream. I'm just tapping. I'm gonna switch colors, so you're gonna have to coordinate with your friends to make sure that you guys can take turns with the colors. Just lots of colors. And as you guys work through this project, you're not gonna have new shaving cream. You're gonna actually get all sorts of gradual tints throughout this. So lots of tapping, notice I'm not Licking my brush, I'm just tapping. The only thing moving is my hand. We'll get a little purple on the side, why not? So lots of drip drops. I'm gonna take my shaving cream stick, right? Beautiful popsicle stick. Now if I take this and I just swirl it all into one big blob, what do you think is gonna happen when I try to make a print off of it? Brown, Brown the color duck, grossness. So it's kind of like marbling a cake. I don't know if you've ever seen people with when you get those marbled cake when you can't decide chocolate or vanilla. So I'm gonna take it and just drag it through my shaving cream. I'm not mixing, I'm just marbling. And you can do this in multiple directions because whatever is paint, that's what's gonna to stick to your paper. So some of this might not stick to your paper, that's why it's marbled. And the more you do this, the more prints you make, the more awesome and marbled those beautiful prints are gonna be. You're gonna wash off your stick Lay it to the side. It is going to get covered in shaving cream, but guys, it's messy all day. You're going to take a piece of paper. A piece of paper. Can I borrow it? Thank you. I'm going to be Chloe for a second. Thank you, Chloe. I appreciate it. <laughs> so you take a piece of paper. Make sure you're not printing on the side with your name. Thank you, love. You are going to lay this on top. Oh, my God. Oh. Now, if you lay it on top and just pull it off, nothing's really going to happen. This paper's had a long, hard day, so you're going to 
massage the back. Oh no. Gently. I'm not pushing. There's no pressure. A massage is like a gentle, like what a mom does. If you've had a bad day, she messes with your hair. It's just very, very gentle. Massaging the back. You're going to start to see little bits of paint shining through. Everyone see that? See, I've got little bits. I'm actually, I can hold it up. So I can start to see my paint color. Very gentle massaging. Remember, on your first one, you're not going to get those crazy swirls. And then it gets exciting. A little bit messy because messy's good. You're going to very carefully using one hand to keep your, your paint palette down or your tray down. Very slowly Whoa. lift it off. And you're going to have a whole bunch of mess. See that? This is not art yet. This is the halfway point. Now you're going to lay it on the table and your stick becomes a scraper, holding it flat and very gently because if you guys know we worked with paper earlier today getting it wet, if you go very fast it'll just rip the paper. Very carefully, you're going to hold it flat like a windshield wiper and drag it across. Now remember this is my first one. So I don't have a ton of colors on there yet, but that's just the start. See that, see my marbles? Now, I didn't add a lot of paint from talking while I did it. You can add more color, but as you go on, now I have a chance to say, okay, I want one that has more blue, so I'm gonna throw more blue on there. Maybe you'll get more teal. Once you're done with it, just lay it off to the side. Eventually, we're gonna start to put them all over our clothespin racks over there. The last thing you're gonna do, your beautiful, popsicle stick, just make sure you scrape that in because you want to reuse your popsicle stick again. And then you start back all over again. More colors. Layering it up. Now you've kind of got the hang of it. So we're just going to start little at a time. So what wonderful assistance if you guys could give everybody just a little bit of <laughs> shaving cream. There's a little bit. You're welcome. So a little bit of shaving cream. We're going to put out the paint. Don't start yet. Let's wait till everybody has the tools. Look how pretty. Looks great, right? Yeah. So, and it smells good, too. Yeah. So it smells, I've had parents come in at the end of the day, and they're like, oh, it smells so clean. <laughs> and to have that after messy art day is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, you did what to do? Mm -hmm. And they also, at the end of the week, we oh, stitch these nice together, we make them into books. And then they all sign their names on it as their memory of art does. So that's where this is going. They're not just making sheets of paper, even though some of them will go crazy with this and they'll do talks. Nice. Yeah. And this is, this is our this is sold out camp. This is a lot of kids. Yes. Hello. Chloe, would you like to say anything about Art Buzz? So she's been to Art Buzz. Hi. Hi. How about long? Six years, yeah. seven, um, six or five years. I love it. It's a great place to have fun, and I've gotten to. You're pretty good at art, and Miss Anna's really helped me with that. I love this camp so much, and it'll always be my favorite. That's so sweet. You made me cry. Is that why you're wearing the crown? Because you're the Art Buzz Kid crown queen. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What's been your favorite camp so far? Um, definitely under the sea or North Carolina camp. North Carolina camp, what did you learn about North Carolina? Um, we definitely did a lot about the Wright brothers, which is cool to find out about how they're the first ones to fly the plane. Nice. And how they um, invented planes and got humans in the sky. That's cool. So it's cool to paint that stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Nice. We do have a really, kids, no matter what they've done, I know everyone says wine and design is super addicting. Try with kids, um, not the wine. The the we call it juice and design sometimes. But, uh, <laughs> this is incredibly addicting. We have kids who have been here since they turned five, every single summer, every single North Carolina track out, every single spring break or holiday. Basically, anytime the doors open, some of you guys are here. <laughs> some of them are running on time the camp. So it they do come back because it is so fun, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter how old or young you are. Art works. And it doesn't matter how bad you are at painting, because I'm not always. There is no bad at painting. You know that, because everything Just is messy at painting. There's messy. <laughs> everything is figure outable, legit, have a poster of that. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, guys, everyone's got their shaving cream, yes? Everybody's good. Alright, grab a paintbrush, start that splatter action. Remember, we are not ripping it the shirt. Real splatter, yes. Share a little bit. So just reach on and over. 
just a recap for those who have joined. We are at an Art Buzz Kids camp here at the North Carolina studio. You can find your local um, wine design going to winedesign.com forward slash locations and see what kind of art camps that they offer on their calendar. Wow, beautiful. Okay, I like that. Tasting very yummy. That's Guys, <laughs> <laughs> no, not tasting yummy. Like, oh, it's suggesting. Yeah. <laughs> we don't encourage people to paint here. Beautiful. Yeah, lots of colors. Nice. You got it? Oh, oh, oh. It looks like you're painting a flower. Do you, do you have green in the water? Look at you, Nook. Can I purple? No, it looks like it rained and died. It rained and died. I got you some white. Remember to swirl. Oh, no. That's okay. Paint with the clouds today. Just paint with the clouds. Oh, no. That's all right. You just got a little green frog there right now, but when you marble, I should be all over it. That's cute. Perfect. <laughs> and guys, once you've got blue colors, start marbling. I know. Mixing. Marbling. Uh, oh, my face now. Oh, yeah, it is. Yep. Oh, I just actually put this on. You can just set that on the table. Gently massage so you can start to see those colors through it. Guys, don't forget to marble before you print. You're just gonna end oh, yeah, marbles, which is cool. Oh, that's awesome. gonna look awesome. Like, like, look at that. Ooh. I like this. Yes. 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 You can just set the poppy spoon. Mm -hmm. Hold down. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Beautiful. Now lay it flat and windshield wiper. <laughs> slow, though. Super slow. It's like whenever yes. it's barely even raining. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's Woo. amazing. Yeah. You can scrape it on the All side. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. Massage. Perception is beautiful. Gorgeous. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and check out the calendar and sign your kid up for an Art Buzz Kids Camp. So yeah, thanks for watching.